how to make an overlay on CapCut Mac. Go to media here in the upper left corner of the screen and then make sure to click here on import to import the video clip that you would actually like to use as an overlay. If you've already done that and have your clips ready like I have here, then you can simply left click and hold on the clip and then drag it down to the timeline and make sure that it sits on top of your main video clip. You can obviously also drag it around if necessary. For example, I would like the overlay clip to start at the very beginning, so I'll simply drag it all the way to the left. My overlay clip here is actually some really cool fog that will add some atmosphere to our scene here. So let us play the clip for a second now. And as you can see, we have some lovely fog as an overlay here. Now one thing to note is that this overlay clip already comes with a transparent background. But obviously this is not always going to be the case. So I could simply replace this clip here with something else. So I'm just gonna delete it. And here on top I will drag another clip down. Make sure that it starts at the beginning as well. And in this case the overlay clip is a regular video clip. And you will notice now that now you only see this very video clip. But you can't see the other video clip anymore. And that's obviously not what we want. So to solve this problem while this overlay clip here is selected. On the right side simply reduce the scale. And as you do that, we will see the main clip reappear. Now let's make this a little bit smaller still. And then here in the player window, you can simply left click, hold and drag this clip around. So if you would like to position this in a corner, for example, you can easily do that just like that. And once again, we have yet created another overlay. Now this overlay would be a little bit nicer if there was no background, right? CapCut Mac can actually also take care of this for you. Make sure that your overlay clip is selected. Then in the upper right corner, go to cutout and then take the option auto cutout. And just like that, CapCut actually removed the background of that clip for us. Awesome. So now let us play this clip again. And that's actually pretty cool. The hat here is a little bit cut off, but this is only because in our original footage, this was the case as well. Then we wouldn't face this problem here at all. So it's all good. Now, last but not least, starting with a blank project, we can also use a copy of the main video clip to create an overlay on CapCut Mac. Here's how we do it. First of all, we will drag our main clip onto the timeline. And then again, we grab another copy from there and place that on top of our main footage. In our footage, we have a lovely lady in front of the Eiffel Tower. The thing is just that she dislikes this photo and she would like us to blur her face on it. I personally think she's looking lovely, but yeah, it's her decision, right? So yeah, I guess we gotta help her. And how do we help her? Well, with an overlay and a mask. As we already have the overlay, we need to take care of the mask. To do that, make sure that your overlay is selected. And then in the upper right corner, click on mask. And as we want to blur her face in this case, we will use a circle mask. So I'll click on circle. In the player window, you will then see this mask. You can left click and hold on that mask and you can then drag it around on your footage. As we want to mask her face, we will put the mask over her face. And as her head is not as big as a plant pot, after all, we have to make this mask a little bit smaller. We can easily do that by using these white circles here in the edges and simply left click and drag to make it smaller. So we will make this fit her face. Probably something like that. Once you're happy with the mask, we finally have to find a way to blur her face. And on CapCut Mac, we can do this with effects. Head over to effects in the upper left corner. And then take the blur effect and put it on the overlay mask. And just like that, the face of our lady is now blurred. However, if you have a closer look at that, you can see that we have some hard edges here. It doesn't look that nice, right? So to make this look better, left click on the mask and then use the feather feature. We will put the mask to around three here. And we end up with a much better and smoother result. So as you can see, overlays and masks are very powerful and we can use them in many different ways to create awesome things in CapCut. Now, if you would like to know how to use overlays on CapCut iPhone and Android, please make sure to watch the next video on my channel. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, it wouldn't hurt to subscribe and smash the like button, right?